In Another Country is a short story by Ernest Hemingway which appears in his 1927 collection, Men Without Women, his second volume of stories. His trademark, journalistic style was already evident in this piece by the Pulitzer and Nobel Prize winning author. While the narrator of In Another Country is not named, it is commonly accepted that it is Nick Adams, Hemingway's semi-autobiographical alter ego. Indeed, the story appears in the Nick Adams Stories, a 1972 posthumous collection that anthologized all 24 of the Adams stories and sketches. The story is based on Hemingway's experience in a hospital in Milan during World War I, and foreshadows many of the themes explored in his 1929 novel, A Farewell to Arms. It is fall, and a number of soldiers who were wounded in World War I are in Milan, being treated for their injuries at a hospital a short distance from the front. Nick Adams is an American soldier and former athlete whose knee has been injured. He is rehabilitating his knee using a machine. An Italian officer who is older than Nick has an injured hand, a situation made all the more tragic by the fact that he had been a fencing champion. The doctor offers encouragement, but the Italian officer does not have any faith in medicine's ability to heal him. Nick has developed some friendships at the hospital. Among them are three other Italian officers, one of whom was planning on a career as a lawyer, another one a painter, and a third whose desired path was to be a soldier. They are all decorated war heroes as a result of their service, as is Nick Adams. The soldier who planned to be a lawyer has been awarded more medals than the others and is respected for it. Another young soldier, also wounded, spends time with Nick and his friends. This man keeps his face covered with a handkerchief, as much of his face was wounded during battle and had to be reconstructed. Nick feels connected to the group of officers as they have all experienced similar things. In addition, their friendship affords them a certain level of comfort and protection because the local people hate the officers and make their feelings known to them. Although they have developed a certain level kinship, there is also a divide between them. The Italian officers keep a certain distance between themselves and Nick due to their sense that Nick only received a medal because he is an American, while the Italian's medals were awarded for acts of bravery. This attitude on the part of the Italian officers leads Nick to cultivate his friendship with the young boy with the damaged face. The boy was wounded before he could prove his medal in the war. Nick comes to the hospital every day to work with the machines that exercise his leg. While doing so, the officer with the wounded hand teaches him to speak Italian. The officer becomes angry with Nick when Nick tells him that he plans to get married. The Italian officer tells him that men should not marry because, ultimately, they will lose their wives. He later explains to Nick that his own wife had just died and he apologizes for his outburst. After this exchange, whenever the officer comes back to the hospital to receive treatment, he seems distant and simply stares out of the window. Loneliness and feelings of emptiness pervade the story. By focusing on the emotional lives of these recovering soldiers, rather than just showing the physical treatments the men are receiving, Hemingway highlights the fact that the wounds these men carry are not merely physical. Nick is in a foreign country and essentially alone. He is taunted by people on the streets, although his association with the Italian officers reduces people's hostility towards him. He cannot shake the feeling that he is inferior to the others. There is a sense that, despite the modern machines and the dedicated doctors, the soldiers, and Nick himself, cannot be restored to the way they were before the war, to their former selves. Nick has stayed in Italy and remained with the others to receive treatments that seem to be fruitless. He is frustrated that the machines are not helping him in his recovery. It is implied that Nick is not receiving the treatment that he really needs. Above all, in another country demonstrates the literary style that Ernest Hemingway was famous for. In his obituary, the New York Times said, Ernest Hemingway achieved worldwide fame and influence as a writer by a combination of great emotional power and a highly individual style that could be parroted but never successfully imitated. His lean and sinewy prose, his mastery of a kind of laconic, understated dialogue, his insistent use of repetition, often of a single word or name built up and transmitted an inner excitement to thousands of his readers. In his best work, the effect was accumulative, it was as if the creative voltage increased as the pages turned. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.